Hello everyone, myself Twinkle Patel from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center Nausari. This video lecture is about multiple encryption. So in this video lecture we will discuss about multiple encryption, double DES multiple encryption made in the middle attack in double DES, after that triple DES with two keys and then triple DES with three keys. So now we are starting with the multiple encryption. So as we know that the key size in the DES is 64 bits from which only 56 bits are effective. So the key size of the DES is only 56 bits. So to do a brute force attack by the attacker only 2 raised to 56 operations are required. So DES is very vulnerable to a brute force attack. So we need to uh, require to find a alternative of the DES. So one possible approach is to find the algorithm which is completely different from the DES which is AES which we have discussed in the earlier video lectures and second solution is used to DES multiple times. So uh, here in this lecture we will discuss the multiple encryption using the DES. So first is double DES. In double DES first of all on the plain text using the key K1 encryption is performed. So the output is X. On that output, further encryption is performed using the DES using the key K2 and the ciphertext is generated. So ciphertext is generated using the two keys that is K1 and K2 and encryption that is DES encryption algorithm is applied two times. Next, uh, the decryption is performed on the reverse order that is ciphertext, ciphertext is uh, applied uh, ciphertext is applied to the decryption algorithm using the key K2 and the X is generated and which is further applied to the decryption algorithm using the key K1 and plain text is generated. Here you can see that the key is used in the reverse order in the decryption than the encryption. So here you can see that the X is generated using the encryption of plain text using the key K1 and in the decryption side, X is generated using the key K2 on ciphertext C, on ciphertext C and decryption is performed. So X is generated on the decryption as well as encryption side. So this is a simple, simple multiple encryption process in which two keys are used and encryption and decryption performed two times. So however, here the key size is 2 into 56 bits that is the key length is 112 bit. So attacker has to attacker require 2 raised to 112 operation for the brute force attack which is impractical. However other types of attacks such as meet in the middle attack is possible in the double DES. So we will see how attacker can perform the meet in the middle attack in the double DES. So this attack involves encryption from the one end and the decryption from the other end and matching the result in the middle. Suppose uh, assume that the cryptanalysis or the attackers know the plain text and ciphertext pair. Now the aim is to finding the K1 and K2. So first of all, cryptanalysis will will uh, try all the possible keys that is K1 on the known plain text and encryption is performed and the generated output is stored in the table 1. And on the decryption side, cryptanalysis perform the decryption on the known ciphertext using the all possible keys that is K2 and store the result in the another table and match the result. So here number of encryption is performed is 2 raised to 56 and number of decryption is performed is 2 raised to 56. So double DS require only 2 raised to 56 operation for the brute force attack. Now we will see in detail how this uh, how this meet in the middle attack work. So this attack is based on the observation that that X is X is uh, getting using the key K1 on the plain text and also using the key K2 on the cipher text. So uh, attacker know the attacker know the pair of plain text and cipher text. So attack, attacker proceed the attack as follows. First of all, attacker encrypt the plain text for all the possible values of the K1. That is 2 raised to 56 possible values of K1. So it will encrypt the plain text using the all the 2 raised to 56 possible values of K1 and store the result in table 1. And after that, 
sort the table using the value of x. Next, decrypt the ciphertext using the key k2. So, k2 has also 2 raised to 56 possible values. So, attacker will decrypt the uh, known ciphertext using the uh, two all the 2 raised to 56 possible value and store the result in the another table and also check the results again the table for a match because we know that the encryption on plain text using the key k1 gives the result at x and decryption on the ciphertext using the key k2 will also give the result x. So, it will find out the match. It will uh, try to find the match of the table 1 and table 2. If the match occurs, then the uh, it will taste the two resulting keys using a new known plain text and ciphertext pair. And if the two key produce the correct ciphertext, then we can accept them as the correct key that is K1 and K2. So double DS is available to the meet in the middle attack. So an alternative to the meet in the middle attack, we are, we are going to use the triple DS with the two keys. So, in triple DS with the two keys, first of all, on the plain text, encryption is applied using the key K1 and output is generated that is A. Now, on A, decryption is performed. Here, triple DS is performed, uh, follow the EDE sequence that is first is encryption, after the decryption and then encryption. Now, on the output of the first encryption, A is generated and on that, decryption is performed using the key K2 and output is generated which is known as the B and on B further encryption is performed using the key K1 and the final ciphertext is generated. So first encryption is performed using the K1 on the plain text. First of all encryption is performed on the plain text using the key K1 and the output of that decryption is performed using the key K2 and on the output of that further encryption is performed using the key K1. So, this is a mathematical representation of ciphertext. Now, on the decryption side, the reverse process is performed that is DED. So, and the key is also reverse. So, first of all, on the ciphertext, key K1 is used. So, this is the, this key K1 is used on the ciphertext. Then the output is generated that is B. And now, encryption is performed using the key K2 and the output is generated that is a. Now, on the A, decryption is performed using the key K1 and the plain text is generated. So, plain text equal to first of all, first decryption is performed using the key K1 on C and on the output of that, using the key K2, encryption is performed. So, this is the encryption process and the output of this encryption process is given to the decryption process using the key K1 and the plain text is generated. So, it is a very popular alternative to the DES. So, triple DES follow the ED sequence that is encrypt, decrypt and encrypt sequence. This is the mathematical representation of ciphertext and plain text in triple DES. Triple DES with two keys is relatively popular alternative to the DES. Currently, because currently there is no practical cryptanalysis attack on the triple DES and the cost of brute force search attack on the 3DS is also higher because it has a 2 raised to 1 1 2 operation to perform and several attacks are proposed on the 3DS such as known plain text attacks chosen plain text attack but these attacks are impractical so triple DES with two keys is a popular alternative to the DES next next we will see Although the attacks on the triple DS with two keys is impractical, anyone using the two keys 3DS may feel some concern. So triple DS with three keys is keys established in which first of all on plain text key K1 uh, using the key K1 encryption is performed and output is generated which is A. Here also ED sequence is followed and after that on that output decryption is performed using the key K2 and the output is generated is B. And then further encryption is performed using the key K3. Here note that the three keys is used K1, K2 and K3 compared to triple DS with two keys where only two keys used that is K1, K2 and K1. Here K1, K2 and K3 three keys, key, uh, keys are used and ciphertext is generated. This is the mathematical representation of triple DS with three keys. 
First of all, encryption using key K1 on the plain text P. So encryption using KK1 using the plain text P. On that output using the key K2 decryption is performed. So here decryption is performed using the key K2 and the output of this decryption process is given to the given to the encryption process using the key K3 and after that the ciphertext is generated. Next, the decryption is the reverse process of the encryption. So here first is decryption is performed on the ciphertext using the key K3 and the output generated is B. Now on the B, encryption is performed using the key K2 and the generated output is A. And on the output A, decryption is performed using the key K1 and the plain text is generated. So this is a mathematical representation of plain text using the three keys. First of all, decryption is performed on the ciphertext using the key K3. After that, on that output, that is B, using the K2, encryption is performed and using uh, and the, this output is given to the decryption process using the key K1 and plain text is generated. So, triple DS with three keys is also, also used in many applications such as PGP and MIME and backward compatibility with, com compatibility with DES is provided by here K1 equal to K3 or K3 equal to K1. So, this is a multiple encryption technique in which we have seen double DES, double DES with two keys and uh, sorry, double DS. After that, we have seen triple DS with two keys and triple DS with three keys. Among all of these, triple DS with two keys is a very popular alternative to the DS. Thank you.